We'll be back in a minute with a feature on Michigan Replay that's very special and close to my heart. The guys that play in the pits. A Wolverine back breaks through the line and scores. The crowd erupts. The runner is a hero, but he didn't get there by himself. He had help from a group who don't get headlines, very little notoriety. The offensive line, a group of no-names with an important job. And you've got to be a special type to play in the pits. I think you do because uh, a lot of the backs and a lot of other positions, I think their motivation is the press clippings and their 100-yard games. But I think our motivation is uh, just coming into a meeting and hearing Jerry Hanlon say you're getting better and never say you did a good job, you're just getting better. Or hearing Bo that you did a good block. I think that's the motivation we get instead of, you know, reading our name in a paper of getting 150 yards. I think uh, for ourselves, I think that's all we need because the press clippings come later on. If your backs get 1,000 yards or, you know, as well as our backs run, I think the press clippings come later on for the lineman. I believe that um, an offensive lineman gets his glory back whenever he sees a running back succeed. I know every time I see uh, Larry Ricks or Butch Wolfolk, one of them going to the end zone, I feel as though I've accomplished something because I know that it takes a uh, block for him to get into the end zone. And also it's a way for a person as big as me, you know, I can't go out on the street and be an angry, mean person because I would intimidate people and I wouldn't have too many friends. And so when you, when you sit and you hit somebody and you knock them down, it's a chance for you to take out all your frustrations you've gathered up all week, you know, take them out on somebody. Even though you don't get noticed a lot, there's a tremendous amount of personal pride in what you guys do, isn't there? First of all, we the work horses. Everybody knows that the offensive linemen get very little glory. But also everybody knows that the offensive lineman is involved in contact every single play. It, 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 I feel great whenever I can take and just dominate somebody. It is a great sense of pride. Even if nobody, I mean, if, even if I don't have, get any publicity, I know that if I have an All-American or anybody over me and he doesn't get any publicity, that I've done my job. I think if you gain the respect of the person over you and you gain the respect of everyone on the team, they know what you're doing. They're in the offensive meeting, watching the film, seeing you doing good or bad. If you gain the respect from them, I think that's that's what pride's all about. It's a real personal battle up front. It definitely is. It's it's you against him. It's a little battle among the, amongst the big battle. It's always been said that the offensive lineman is a real passive position where you take a lot, you take a lot. But you guys don't agree with that, do you? I definitely don't agree. I think... Uh, I think maybe you're you're smarter and uh, people who think more play offense because a defensive tackle he has he, he could either go three ways he could angle down he could angle the other way or play straight whereas us we have you know instead of just dealing with the defensive tackle we have it now where we're pulling dealing with defensive backs we're dealing with linebackers that are you know 50 pounds 60 pounds heavier i mean lighter than us and quicker so i feel that uh, it takes a little more brains because every play you have to think what what it's on where you're going who you're hitting and how you're going to do it whereas a defensive tackle just has to worry about one thing getting the ball carrier do you get a little tired of that bad rap that your big dumb offensive lineman Duh. <laughs> Duh. But you, people always are going to stereotype people. It is some offensive linemen that probably are, you know, have low IQs, and it's probably some quarterbacks with low IQ. People are people. One of the things that, that I believe is that I have to go out and excel in everything that I do. And I know for a fact that if you can pay offensive lineman at the University of Michigan, that you're not a low IQ person. Now, you're not an unintelligent person because you got to, not only like Ed was saying, you, you have so many people you have to block. I, every time I go up to the line of scrimmage, I have to know the defense. I have to tell the, the running back where to make his cut. I have to tell the offensive center where to block. I tell the guard where to block. I tell everybody on the line where to block. I have to think about my technique and everything in every single play that I go through. And so I'll say this. If you are capable of playing offensive tackle at the University of Michigan, you are very intelligent. Guess who played offensive tackle at Michigan? 
Well, uh, we don't want to stereotype those people. <laughs> <laughs> There's some that, uh, you know, that they, but you know, uh, whether you realize it or not, uh, I'm an old offensive tackle myself. I know. And um, <clears throat> I always have had uh, great respect for the people up front, and, and uh, because it is, as they say, it's the most complicated area to play because not only do you have to do all the things that they're saying about but you got to do them that quick. So that ball is snapped fast. And being a former offensive lineman, I think you too would understand or know a little bit. Of, there is a different breed of guy yeah, that has to play that position. Different breed of cat. They are the uh, the backbone of uh, a football team. Unsung guys. If you go into an offensive lineman, you're talking about a guy who is a total, complete team guy. Has to be because the, the only recognition he's going to get is the success of the team, just exactly what they're saying. And that's why they're just a, they're a beautiful group of guys. They all are, and including you. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Including I mean, that's the you. best thing. That's the best thing we've had on this year. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like that. He's right, too. <laughs>